Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to um, unroot, relock, and uh, restore your Galaxy Nexus back to factory settings. You may need this in case you have to return your phone back to Verizon for manufacturer warranty purposes, or if you encounter a boot loop or a soft brick and you got to unbrick your phone, this is the method that you will use. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you check out my tutorial on how to set up the SDK. So that way uh, you can send ADV commands to your phone through your PC. Once you have the SDK set up, check out the link in the description as well uh, for the Unbrick, Unroot, Relock, Restore guide that I have here. The first thing you want to do is download this Fastboot exe file. Just download it here and throw that into the SDK platform tools under C drive. And then you're going to want to download this Android 4.0.2 factory image to your PC. So just click that, download it. Once that's downloaded, you're going to extract the files. In fact, you know what? We have to extract the whole thing. So what we'll do, we'll just open it. Because we don't want it to be in its own compressed folder. We want it to... We want everything to extract into the tool. So all of these need to extract. They don't need to be in their own folder. So we'll extract that to C drive. Android SDK Windows Platform Tools. Go ahead and extract all of those. We just want to go in there and double check, make sure that they're not in a folder. So open up the computer, C Drive, Android SDK Platform Tools, and somehow they're in their own folder. So we can just drag and drop these into that folder, Platform Tools folder. So we'll just drag and drop these over. Okay. Then we can go back up there and delete that folder. Okay. So now we have our all of our files there in platform tools. We'll go back to our guide here. Um, <clears throat> from within the tools folder, we'll open the command, open up a command prompt, and go to CD space C drive. CD space Android SDK Windows forward slash platform tools. Okay, so now that we're in the platform tools directory, we'll type the following commands. So you could actually just copy and paste those, hit enter, and that's going to reboot your phone into the bootloader mode. I forgot to mention you need to have your USB cable plugged into the phone, and we'll move forward here. Every one of these you need to wait and allow them to complete their process. When that's finished, we'll move to fast boot reboot bootloader. Just continue to copy and paste these as you go. Right now, we're flashing the radio, and then we're going to reboot the bootloader again. Fast boot, reboot bootloader. It's really simple. Okay, now we're going to flash the uh, CDMA radio.
just give that a few seconds and then we'll reboot the bootloader again. As soon as that finishes, we will fast boot, reboot the bootloader again. Of course, every time you do that, you want to make sure that it does reboot and gets to the screen before you type the next command. Should go without saying. Now we are flashing our updated image. This is the 4.2, I mean 4.0.2 image. So give this one a little bit of time. After this, we'll just reboot the bootloader and lock up our device. Very simple, very easy, very hard to mess up. And this will come in handy if you ever encounter a brick. Definitely will come in handy. Okay, so after it loaded, uh, after it finished everything there it it uh, rebooted my phone and so now I'm back on factory here and I'm not rooted anymore uh, but I'm still unlocked so what I want to do at this point is just turn the phone around take the battery out and replace it and then hold the volume rockers both up and down and the power button and we're gonna load it in bootloader mode okay so now that we're in bootloader mode it says that we're still unlocked so now we will take and plug in our USB cable. And we're going to type fastboot OEM lock into our command prompt. And down there at the bottom it says lock state locked. So now uh, all you have to do is make sure that start there is highlighted and press the power button. Now you should see we're no longer unlocked. We're now locked totally in factory state. Uh, it's that simple, that easy guys. If you ever end up in a jam, that's how you unbrick your phone and relock it down. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys.